Good morning, everyone. Today's devotional from Psalm 93 is all about knowing God as the Lord of the chaos. Because it says in Psalm 93, verses 3 and 4, The seas have lifted up, Lord. The seas have lifted up their voice. The seas have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of the great waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. Now, brief history lesson. In ancient Jewish thought, the sea was a symbol of chaos. For example, the main religion of Babylon taught that the heavens and the earth came about because of a great battle between Marduk and Tiamat, who was the god of the sea. So in Babylonian religion, chaos, Tiamat, was defeated by chaos, a war started by Marduk. But in Genesis 1.21, we read of God creating the great creatures of the sea. And the Hebrew for that also implies chaos monsters, such as dragons, serpents and sea monsters. So this shows how chaos is never out of God's hands and is illustrated by the sea. You see, God rules over evil. And this is often demonstrated in the Bible through miracles involving the sea. Think of when Moses parted the Red Sea and Egypt was defeated. When Jonah was rescued out of the sea by God and Nineveh was saved. And when Jesus walked upon the water and calmed the storm. Throughout the whole Bible, chaos is in God's hands. And in this little psalm, not only is it in God's hands, but the seas of chaos actually turn towards God to worship him and submit to him. All of its power is nothing compared to God. So whatever chaos you are going through today, think of the sea, the historical symbol of chaos with all of its power and vastness. But then all of that submits to God. So I pray, may your chaos submit to God today and may we worship the Lord of the chaos.